trying to free our beer. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel Dot Media. It's a hot day. I'm here in Hall, Quebec. Well, it's now called Gatineau, Quebec. It's just across the river from Ottawa. You're probably going to hear a lot of car traffic in behind me. People going back and forth between Ontario and Quebec. I'm over here. I'm enjoying a made in Canada beer. It's a Molson export. I don't know where in Canada it was made. I just know where I bought it. I bought it here in Quebec. But when I take this beer across the river into Ontario, I might be breaking the law, depending on how much I'm carrying. I've already told you the story of Gerard Como. He's the New Brunswick man who violated the law because he had 14 cases of beer. In New Brunswick, you're not allowed to bring more than about 18 bottles or cans of beer from another province into New Brunswick. Even though it's all Canadian beer made in Canada, it's what led to me asking Prime Minister Stephen Harper about it and his reaction to say it's ridiculous on Monday. Should Canadians face legal sanction for buying beer and wine and spirits and then driving home? Well, look, my personal view, the view of our government is that's ridiculous. That's why we brought in federal legislation. Now, Tuesday morning, I got to ask the same question to Liberal leader Justin Trudeau. Uh, he made the comment just behind me on the other side of this bridge here, again, looking back towards Ottawa. As you can hear from the car and truck traffic, people go back and forth all the time in this part of the country, and it's not unusual. Well, Trudeau not only said this has to change, and that's why he voted for it, but he took on Stephen Harper saying Stephen Harper hasn't done enough to sit down with the provinces. The Prime Minister has in fact uh, committed and promised time and time again to reduce interprovincial trade barriers of this type. He has been unable to. And that's a direct consequence of his unwillingness to actually sit down and meet with and work with the provinces on issues such as this. All right, so you've heard from the Liberals, you've heard from the Conservatives. What about the New Democrats? Is Tom Mulcair all in favor of being able to bring beer and wine across as people do each and every day across the country? Shouldn't we have free trade within Canada's own boundaries? Well, actually, yes. I want to read to you a statement. It's from Carl Belanger, who is Tom Mulcair's principal secretary. Here's what he told me by email. We certainly encourage the provinces to work together and remove these remaining barriers. The NDP believe in giving consumers more choice. That's why we supported Bill C-311, which removed federal barriers and helped smaller wineries in particular. That comment coming as Mulcair was actually at a winery in Kelowna, British Columbia. Now, call me crazy, but I think that when you're within your own country, if you're talking about a legal product and we're not talking about reselling it, you should be able to go back and forth across boundaries. It's pretty simple. In fact, it's downright Canadian. It's even in our constitution. It's why Gerard Como and his legal team are arguing section 121 of the constitution. Let me read that to you again. It states that all articles of the growth, produce, or manufacture of any of one of the provinces shall, from and after the Union, be admitted free into each of the other provinces. See, before Confederation, we had tariffs between the provinces. Quebec wanted to keep out Ontario goods. Ontario wanted to keep out Quebec goods. New Brunswick and Nova Scotia wanted to do the same. Confederation was supposed to get rid of this. What these rules saying that in New Brunswick, you can only bring across one bottle of wine or spirits or 18 bottles or cans of beer, roughly, from another province. What this does is it tries to force you to buy in your own province. As I've said before, I could be over here in Quebec and buy five dishwashers. I could buy five couches. I could buy five cars, more than I'm going to need for my own personal use. And I could take them across the river to Ontario. You see how short a distance that is. It's a short bridge drive. In some places, it's a land crossing to go from one, most places in Canada, it's a land crossing to go from one province to the next. Why should we have these trade restrictions inside our own borders? Some in the media are getting this and they see that this is a real issue. Is it the most important issue of the election? No, that would be the economy or national security. But this is an issue that matters to an awful lot of Canadians in our daily lives. But some just say, well, don't bother your provincial trade or liquor authority. No, 
these restrictions should not exist. They go against the Constitution. They go against the reason that we started Confederation. This isn't just about me wanting to be able to come over to Quebec and buy beer on sale. By the way, Molson isn't paying me for this. Export's not paying me for this. This is just what happened to be on sale when I went to the corner store up the street, which is how you buy beer and wine here. This is about getting back to what the Fathers of Confederation meant when they said, let's do away with trade barriers between the provinces. That's why part of the reason we came together, it should be part of the reason for doing away with these rules now. It's time to free our beer, it's time to free our grapes, it's time to free the spirits. Let's have free trade in Canada once and for all.